welcome to the final week, week six of the Thrive Quilt So Long. We did it, we did it. So at the beginning of this week, you will have rows that you sewed on the diagonal. So you can watch that week five video if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, week six, we're sewing those rows together into a quilt top. As you can see, I have done. So the same pinning technique that we went through in that week five video is what you would apply to sew the rows together. So sewing blocks into rows, exact same technique as sewing rows into quilts. Hmm, cool. All right, the final thing that I do want to show you though is trimming. So I'm going to go overhead and I'm going to show you how I square up the corner of this quilt because remember, Previously, sewing all of our rows together, sewing everything into one quilt top, we trimmed nothing. Zero. Zero things. Um, that has left us with a lot of great wiggle room, but also some little, you know, flaggy, taggy dog ears. Ugh, hate that name. But we're gonna, we're gonna snip them. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna roll them. We're gonna rotary cut them. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I use my ruler how I get that nice horizontal and vertical. And, uh, and then that final top border strip is ready to be sewn. You know, I've gotten, I've gotten some questions why the one border. People see border and they think, oh, four sides. Oh, but you didn't give me enough fabric. I'm only cutting two strips for a throw. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just one border on top and there's a little backstory, so travel with me. Uh, back to December 2019 when I actually designed all four quilts for 2020 and this quilt was originally named Flourish because I thought it actually looked like tulips growing and flourishing. I thought it looked like little blossoms that were shooting up into the sky and so I thought well I'll add a strip at, top, at the top to be the sky. And then, you know, just because Instagram has a million hashtags and hashtag flourish quilt was taken and the timing of 2020, you know, we're kind of in the middle of a pandemic. I just felt like if I'm being real. I'm not really flourishing. <laughs> so do I want to name a quilt in 2020 flourish? Um, not that some people aren't, but like I, I personally wasn't. So I named it Thrive because Thrive has a beautiful meaning and it means to go against uh, obstacles to achieve a goal. It means in spite of, uh, of circumstances, you are still pressing forward. And I just felt like, yeah, I'm doing that a little bit more than just straight up flourishing. <laughs> so anyway, we still have that nice top strip uh, um, on the top of the quilt because I still think aesthetically it looks nice, but it's optional. It's just a strip that you can leave off if you don't want it. It does shave off three inches off of your quilt because the strip itself is three and a half inches. So if you strip off the strip, you strip off three inches. Just an FYI in case you're like, oh, I really wanted 67 inches. Uh, you'll have 64. So not a huge deal. Uh, or if you're like, I need perfect symmetry. Um, more. Do border on top, border on the sides, border on the bottom. Have a nice large quilt. You'll have a 70 inch tall quilt. That's quite nice, you know. Um, yeah, and then a, let's see, a 67 by 64. So then you add 6 to 64. That's 70. Yeah, you'll have a square. Huh. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Yeah, so do what you want per use. <laughs> Do what feels right, do what feels good, and I'm going to show you how to trim up this quilt. So I have my cutting mat and my quilt top that I'm going to lay on my cutting mat. And this is the kind of thing that you can actually do on the floor. Uh, it's really nice to spread out your whole quilt top and just really, you know, see everything. Just for this demo, I'm doing it with a really little uh, cutting mat and not on the floor, but you can. So I have a rotary cutter. Um, you can use your regular six inch by 24 inch ruler, or you can use your 12, all right, you, uh, this is a 12 and a half. You can use a square ruler. 
And a square ruler is kind of nice because it just gives you a little bit more of an idea of what things are looking like. Um, so pretty much, I'm just going to line up the tip of this triangle with the tip of this side, and I'm going to line it up so that it's on the quarter inch line. And once it is, then I just press my ruler down and I just give it a slice. I mean, it's really as easy as that. And I keep going along, lining up the quarter inch marker. You can use this ruler too. So let me show you. So here I have my, let's see, quarter inch line. Well, you know what, if I'm doing this, I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, and you know what? Doing it with this ruler is actually harder because this is not as long. <laughs> so if you have a, a wider ruler, or if you have two rulers and you're like, oh, I don't have a wider ruler, you can butt up two rulers next to each other. You can do that because this is exactly six inches and this is starting exactly on the zero. And so that, that makes this 18 and a half inches right here. So you can do that at any point, anytime. Just make sure your rulers are lined up and that's kind of a nice way to make, you know, a couple rulers really stretch. So let's see if I'm lining this up. Sorry, my head's going to get in the shot for just a second because I, I want to really see what I'm doing. Okay. And you know what it looks like? I'm pretty much right on the money. Uh, I don't, I didn't, I, I sewed this kind of wonky, so I don't have as much wiggle room as I thought. But you know, just the fact that I am able to sew wonky and still be okay means that I have wiggle room. Does that make sense? All right, so here I go. So that's square. That's pretty perfectly square. And then after I do that, I can just move this on up. And if you have a larger cutting mat, you don't have to move it quite so much. And if you are spread out on, a, on your floor or a really large space, um, you don't have to drape your quilt as much. So that means it's not gonna be stretching as much. So I'm just gonna keep lining things up with that quarter inch and with that quarter inch and just trimming as I go and just trimming little bits just like that. Easy peasy, really not hard. And then once I get everything trimmed up, I, my final step is to just add that border. And that's it. And then I'm finished. Ta-da! Ta-da! Way to go, Thrivers. You did it.